everyone. Today we're looking at the Last Supper. That evening, Jesus arrived with the twelve. During the Passover meal, Jesus said, I assure you that one of you will hand me over, someone eating with me. Deeply saddened, they asked him one by one, It's not me, is it? Jesus answered, It's one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread with me into this bowl. The Son of Man goes to his death just as it had been written about him. How terrible it will be, though, for the person who hands over the Son of Man. It would have been better for him if he had never been born. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed it, broke it, gave thanks, uh, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body. He took a cup, gave thanks, and gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is the, my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. I assure you that I won't drink wine again until the day when I drink it anew in God's kingdom. So no one ever thinks that they would give up on Jesus or betray Jesus, right? Not me, we all say, whether it's in uh, denial of, of what's really going on or in defense of what we kind of actually know about ourselves but don't want to admit. You know, Judas, who probably was also saying this here, has already met with the religious leaders. That's possible that he even thought that wasn't really betrayal. He was going to force Jesus to act by giving him someone to fight against. We'll talk about that more on Friday. See, we can always justify our, our betrayals of Jesus as acting for Jesus somehow. But sadly, Jesus knows our hearts better than we sometimes know them ourselves. So if Jesus knows what's happening and what's about to happen to him, why doesn't he do something about it? Now, to me, I think it's interesting that the word for betray can also mean to hand over. Because that's a pretty good description of what Jesus allows to happen to him. Even though Judas is the one who's actively betraying him and handing him over, Jesus really is offering himself willingly, because that's what love does. And so to remind us of that, Jesus hands down something for us as well, a meal that symbolizes the body and blood that are given, given for us. And so whether or not we are faithful to Christ, Christ always faithfully gives himself for us to give us life, right? We literally remember that every time that we take the bread and wine. And we have this meal, Jesus gave it to us, so that we don't just remember it, you know, one time every week or so, but that we remember it every moment, that Jesus hands over his, his self so that we will also give of ourselves. 